it's Grey Eggs, and for the first time on the channel, we have an abandoned plantation house. So right here is a little history marker, but I can't really show any of it, but all I can say is the house was built in the mid-1800s. The land surrounding is beautiful too. So I'm really not sure if this place had slaves or not as we approach down this beautiful landscape. You can see there's flowers just in random spots across the yard. Alright, I'm going to show you all this porch up here. Apparently it just recently collapsed. There we go. That's a good view. And check out this beautiful view right here. As you can see, there's like a lot of flowers and plants out here. A lot of beautiful colors. It really adds to the southern vibe. I really like this on houses. Let's check out this. I'm assuming this is storage because there's some books and some paint cans in here. I think that's what they use these for. I always see these at houses. Got some bricks in here and a mailbox. And then you come out and there's a little keyhole right there to the left. Somebody let me know what that thing is. I know it's got to be farm related. They're everywhere out here. But look at this beautiful landscape. So this will be our way in right here. You can see more beautiful flowers around it. I love these old southern porches. I can't imagine the memories that were made on this porch. This place just has a really good vibe to it. And you just know with these chairs right here, this was the hangout spot for sure. This is the back part right here. And you got that classic screening like you do on a lot of these old porches. I guess the sink on the back porch is for like hunting or fishing I guess, I don't know. I guess it works. So you got this bathroom straight off the back porch. This is so crazy, look at how big this closet is, this is a big bathroom. And you got a bird's nest right here too. Sadly no eggs in it though. But check out the size of this bathroom. I've never really seen a bathroom like this off of the main house, not connected, just off of the back porch. Y'all let me know, is this something that's normal for this type of house, for the bathrooms to be like this? I've been to a lot of old houses, but offhand, I can't think of seeing anything like this before. So yeah, just let me know. Coming up to this closet right here, you'll see a lot of animal feces and feathers. Check out the bottom right there. That's pretty nasty. There is a lot of good natural lighting in here though. But we'll go ahead and continue out. You can see this floor right here is in really good condition. And the roof. These doors are pretty cool though. But yeah, now we'll go ahead and step inside for the first time. Check this out. This house is filled with history as you can see. I feel like I'm just standing in a 1960s kitchen. <laughs> this plate says Philadelphia on it.
this thing is so cool right here. If I was a kid right now, I'd be going insane. This was my dream as a kid to have a full setup of one of these train tables. Man, I wish I could set this up and play with it so bad. Alright, one last view of this nice room. Now we're going to go on to the next one right through this door. There's your fuse box right there. As you can see, this room is all filled with history. As you can see, somebody jammed a stick on the door. And then check out this decay right here. That's crazy. That's not going to open up at all. <laughs> Got all types of like school stuff in here. The great state of Alabama on this little puzzle piece. Shout out to my friends from there. I know y'all are watching right now. Just a lot of school stuff in here. Some notes in this drawer too. And some mail. So I'm thinking this was either an office or a dining room since it's beside the kitchen. There's so much old furniture in here. Check out this rocking chair. Some more natural light coming through. Not sure what this thing is. And then you got these DVDs right here. I think these are DVDs. Not positive. Yeah, after seeing this, this was definitely a teacher that lived here last. Look at that. Man, they really went crazy through here. Look at this. All of this stuff is so old, though. Got this china cabinet that fell in right here. All these old articles on the floor. I'm not positive what that says, I'll be honest. But yeah, let's hit the next room. Check this out. This is a really good dining room. Shout out to Peril Photography. He found this place. And I feel like people that find places, they deserve a shout out by people that go. Because look at this. He's been sitting on this place for a few years. And that's how I knew that the porch caved in recently. Such a good room. There's no telling how old this stuff is on this table. And that's actually pretty sad right there, I'm not going to lie. But beautiful in a way too. All the decay on the floor. Check out this china cabinet. Full of everything. Well, that's not going to open. All just history right here rotting away. That's crazy. That bowl right there is so strange looking. Or I guess that was a plate.
Some more stuff over here. Check out this old pencil right here. You just know Christmas in this house was crazy too. Now we're going to check out the next room. Here we go. Man, the birds chirping is perfect. Look at this. I bet sleeping here was hitting like crazy. Look at all this china. And that's so pretty out there. The moss and then the roses and the pine trees in the back. Or palm trees. It's one of them, I think. Got some buttons right here. There's just so much cool stuff in this area. A bird's nest in the box full of books? That's crazy. Some more old newspaper. You can see out the window right there too. It's real pretty. This house is something else. I'm telling you. Look at all this stuff on the floor. Got some buttons and stuff right here. Look at the reflection in this old timey mirror. That's so cool. I think that's French, if I'm not mistaken. There's all types of little postcards and stuff down here. That's cool. Got an old Jaguar down there. There's just so much random stuff on this floor. All of it old too. Old musical notebook down there too. Got some clothes up here. Old Pepsi box with more musical notes all torn up. This is actually a really cool shot. There's a baby picture right here, so maybe the previous owner did die and just leave this. Back in the dining room, here's the thermostat. Got this little closet right here. Definitely an older lady's house, or at least she lived here. some furniture polish and this closet is under a staircase I really didn't realize that at first check this out all right now for maybe one of the best rooms in the house look at this this is just insane this is obviously the living room you can see there were movie fans Got this old projector screen. That old timey vacuum. I think that's what that is. Insanity. I love this old green couch right here. 
Imagine having cookies and milk right here on a Christmas day. And there's no TV in here, so I'm assuming it definitely was an older person. Got some books, though. I can tell the person that lived here was definitely a character. Definitely. Check this out. That's really cool. That old clock. This is a really cool setup. I'm not going to lie. It wouldn't be an old time capsule without a piano. Uh, this one might be electric. Got another book right here. This is the family logo. I can't remember what it's called though. Here's another picture. That's cool. That could be the family. This room is absolutely insane. Alright, out of the living room. Let's check out this bedroom. It smells absolutely horrible in here. This room is beautiful and it reminds me of the low country like an ocean side bedroom but the smell is the absolute worst thing ever. Something's definitely under the bed or the table or something. That's definitely probably the culprit right there or part of it. Got some shells down here. I like this little setup right here. Luckily, there's nothing really in these drawers, so we don't have to spend too much time in here. There's nothing in the other ones either. Do got this old paper towel trick, though. A lot of old houses do this. Well, there's an old bathtub. These are the double doors y'all saw in the beginning. To your left right there is a door with a stick across it, and to the right is a door that goes to the living room. There's all types of old furniture in here. Check this out. Abraham Lincoln couch. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to head up the steps. Check out this door though. Here's the view with the door closed. This is pretty unique actually. Imagine something just walks across. I wouldn't even be surprised. That's just Grey X look to be honest. Oh this is the whole thing right here. But check out this beautiful bedroom. Honestly I wouldn't be surprised if people picked this room as their favorite. Just a mix of the old furniture and the natural decay. It's just really, really cool. See what I'm saying? This old doorknob right here. So as you can see, those are twisty stairs going to the attic, but it's too unsafe to get there. That's just another vibe about this room that I like. Check this out. Old Buick magazine. I knew it was Nat Geo, I called it the wrong thing. This thing is old. So I heard a hissing noise and it scared me. But it was just these little things up here. Y'all look like my cat to be honest. They're lucky they're up there, I'd take one of them home. Just gonna peek in here because 
I'm not trying to get rabies. Y'all ain't ready for this one. This could be the best room. It's either this or the living room. Y'all need to let me know in the comments what y'all's favorite room is. This one or the living room. Or honestly any room y'all pick. But I feel like it's going to be between these two. I really can't decide because I love those old beds. And whatever that is. I don't know. I don't love whatever that is. But y'all know. Got some stuff in here. Some blankets, pillows. I swear I see this blanket everywhere. I think that's a heating pad. And then we got some folded clothes. This is so cool. There were definitely kids here. everyone that'll do it for this video i do really hope y'all enjoyed this place was absolutely amazing make sure you show love to my friend down below anyway that'll be it i'll talk to you guys later peace out